And the next thing I want to do is get this transmission put up. Just to ease any tension off the motor mounts, any strain up there from having this thing twisted down a bit. And it should be relatively quick and easy. All I need to do is jack the thing up into place and run the bolts in. Well, let's hope it's that easy to start with. Let's see. I'll find out here in just a moment. almost to the extent of the jack's lift as well. Let's go check the bolt hole alignment. Hmm. Looks like things need to be moved over a bit. Because both these are not well. Before we do the final hookup, I'm going to connect the computer to transmission cable. Because yes, this is a computer controlled transmission.
Actually, that may have worked. Let's try the next bolt. What do you know? Went right into place. Got to make sure we keep this clear. We're gonna definitely gonna need that movable later. <laughs> All right, well, let's go check out the other side. I'll be over there really quick. Oh, my favorite part, laying in the wet grass. take some of the stress off the transmission. That's uh, oh, working. By the way, this field it definitely needs to be adjusted. hate getting dirt in my eye from these, these old cars. see the hole you know? oh yeah there we go much better get that started incorrectly well everything's going in so easy you might as well get the air tool Let's try a 15 millimeter. I think that's it, but just for s comparison, here's a 5.8. 
Or is that a 5 No, that's not 5 8 It's 14 millimeter. No, it's still too small. I believe that's it. No, so let's get the air ratchet. tight actually already. So is that one? I hope I'm not stripping these. I'm gonna call that good enough. The transmission's key member is now bolted up and mounted into place. Well, here comes the next pain in the ass part of doing this project for me. Other people might not have any trouble, but this one gives me a little bit of trouble because I may not have all the right tools or just not think of the right things to get it done right. Basically, installing the torque arm here, I have to lift the car up off the wheels that it was sitting on a support to free up play on the rear end. So I gotta be able to tilt the rear axle and to get it lined up correctly with the bolt holes on the torque bar. Now, I may actually have to shove the tor torque bar forward a bit though to get it to work. I'm not sure you can see being as dark as it is under here compared to outside. But the torque bar is back a little bit farther than the rear end sits. So I've got to do something to adjust all that. First thing I'm going to try and do is see if I can get a th big thick screwdriver up in there and use it to pry with. May work, may not. In the meantime, I got pure blocks with wooden blocks sitting on top of them to be my uh, support, my emergency stop system in case something should fail and the car fall down. It wouldn't necessarily crush me anyway because the wheels are going to fall under these wheels here. But I just want extra support just in case. No stupid injuries as of yet. Ha! <laughs> anyway, let's see what I can do with this POS.
I'm gonna need to try that. Get me one of those big long bolts. Now unfortunately, the bolts that go in, come in from the top, which <laughs> incidentally may not be lined up correctly either. Alright, gotta bring it around the table, or whatever that is. See if I can fit it in, but just by feeling things. Well, not quite in there yet. Right here. This guy. All right, what about the next one? Let's try that. See what happens. Ooh, awfully close. Awfully close. It's the quickest and easiest I've been able to get that done. I'm right, gonna try this Come back here a little bit. Right, just get a good spot to bite on. Uh, yeah, no luck yet. And the bottom of the torque arm here needs to move forward. I might be able to do that by dropping the rear end down a bit now. So before I do that, let's see if I can get the other one in from the top. That'd be nice if I could. Really it would. Whoops, that was close, wasn't it? I'm gonna smash the GoPro. Come on. There we go. That's it. I need more leverage for my arms. I'm gonna have to roll over to the other side, I guess. Into the dirt. Here we go. Let's see what kind of visibility I have here. Looks 
like still not fitting in quite right. Do it, I may have to drop the rear end down anyway. What's doing is just lifting the car up. Still not aligning it. Alright, I just drove the back one into place. should be awfully damn close. How easily does it go through the bottom? Goes in real easy from the bottom. And I can feel it up there. So what's the hold? What's the problem?
Come on, come on. They're not all the way down yet, though. Oh, <laughs> that was easier said than done right there, wasn't it? Oh, it's not all the way down. Push. Hey! That's Homer Simpson moment right there, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, let's just get these guys started.
Where'd that go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did that? Go ahead and bolt those little bastards down. Can't remember what size they are exactly, but it was awfully big. I'm gonna have to get a ratchet down here, and I gotta put a box end wrench up top. Keep everything from turning yeah, when I don't want it to. purposes of checking this is a 13 16 see how it fits no that's too small seems to work for the front well I guess it does fit there got lucky didn't I okay but it's still turning the top. So let's try 13 sixteenths up top like it was on the bottom. That's it. not how I remember it, but that's how it's working. Alright, time to suck it all in. Good. Those are all down. Took longer than I wanted it to, but less time than I expected. All right, so the torque arms bolted into place. 
next step I'm gonna hook up the drive line first thing to do take the emergency brake off so I'm able to turn the wheels to get everything to line up right So, first thing I want to do, make sure there's no dust or grease on this, I'm going to turn this thing so it lines up right with the way the axle set. I got it to work. That needs to a little more. Didn't get dirty. I have to go back in and clean it up. If it did. Whoop. All right, that's the start. Let's get the first cap. Started on. Okay, with the cap started, next step is turn the darn thing around again so I can get to the next one. But to do that, we need to put the transmission in the neutral. So let's go do that. Maybe you can't see it. What we're going to do is switch this in the neutral up here. Felt like it already was. Okay, that's park. That went past reverse and should be neutral. Let's go find out if the wheels are turning. Just where 
I got to turn these things. Things back into place. Alright, there's the other one. Okay, well, from this point, we suck it down. I'm gonna go get the air ratchet. And I believe, if I remember right, those are just 10 millimeter sockets. Let's try the 11 millimeter. It's 11 millimeter. All right. So let's just get these attached. Being that they're just tiny little bolts, we don't want a hell of a lot of torque on them, so we're just going to get a small standard ratchet and make sure they're tight. enough that the whole thing wants to turn. I'm gonna go put the emergency brake back on. Oh yeah, that's pretty tight.
all right everything but the sway bar is attached so I'm gonna do that next maybe a later date maybe later tonight depends on just how I feel about it once it's done it's just run the wiring put the liquids in get the thing fired up see if it's gonna work